Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, Anthony here, and in this video I'm going to talk about what you can do to protect yourself from the sun. Ironically, I'm filming this and it's overcast, but that's besides the point. Uh, so, in this video I'm going to go through a whole litany, a whole list of different ways to stay cool in the sun. Uh, some of them are, you know, more obvious and others more maybe on the mental side of things where you know you can kind of convince yourself you're cool or uh, you know just get yourself feeling good and then the heat isn't as bad I know some people are like you're crazy but sometimes it does help so hear me out I have a nice list to go through along with examples as I talk about these items and uh, these clips were shot at uh, Gator Cup 2019 and uh, these are just some of your fellow archers there on the field and a lot of these people are excellent examples for staying cool in the sun that way you can enjoy your shooting experience outdoors at the same time you don't get heat stroke or anything like that because we don't want that to happen because you want to have fun shooting archery and you want to enjoy your time there with your fellow archers so let's get started first up hats now, I'm not known for wearing hats, but a lot of other archers really make it not only fashionable, but they show the practicality of hats. And you don't just have to wear your standard baseball cap. You can wear a visor, uh, there's bucket hats. Uh, I've seen a whole variety of hats across the years, and that's gonna keep the sun off your head. It's gonna keep you cool. It's also gonna keep the sun out of your eyes, hopefully, depending on how the hat's shaped and such so that you can shoot with the hat on and uh, you know be able to see the target clear if the sun is in your face. Next up we have sunglasses and that's an easy one for me because well I'm always wearing sunglasses on the shooting line. Now I know not everybody can shoot with sunglasses on but if you can major advantage but it always is good to have them on hand so maybe you just want to take them with you to the tournament and then put them on when you go to walk down to the target and just take them off when you want to shoot arrows. Uh, it's an idea, it's a great way to protect your eyes, and at some level it is keeping you cooler, plus style points. <laughs> oh, with the hats, we also have bandanas. Kind of a hat, kind of not, but could be handy, definitely help keep uh, the sweat, if you're sweating, from running into your eyes or anything like that. Uh, also, very stylish. And uh, it's just another good way of trying to stay cool in the heat. Uh, you could also wet those uh, bandanas with you know, your own personal water that you bring with you and then use that to cool yourself down. You could put it around your neck or you know, tie that bandana around your head and you know, use that nice cool bandana that you soaked in your water that you brought uh, on your head you know, to lower your body temperature. Uh, with that, we're going to continue on to water bottles. I'm always bringing a water bottle to the range. Actually, I can bring a whole cooler with me uh, to every tournament. I always want plenty of water, and most of the time water is supplied by the venue, especially at larger tournaments like USAT events. But I am always erring on the side of caution because I, you know, I want to take care of myself, and if I take care of myself, then um, if somebody else needs something, I may have it and I might be able to offer it to others to help them out because I have given out water bottles and things uh, to other people because you know what my fellow archers need to stay hydrated and uh, you know what that that would be sad for somebody not to be able to finish the tournament because uh, they just didn't bring enough water or they just got too dehydrated so drink up next up umbrellas now this is a great idea and this is something that I've utilized a little bit in my shooting and I probably should do more of it. Uh, not only is there really cool archery themed umbrellas by companies like Fivex, but they also keep you in the shade and that is so beneficial. Of course it's also handy to have the umbrella when we go to the flip side and that is when it rains. If it rains and you have an umbrella, boom, very nice. You can stay a little bit drier when you walk all the way down to the target. Now here is something almost all archers can enjoy. This archery family has a smoothie maker. It's a cooler and a smoothie maker built in. They were actually making smoothies at the tournament. And the cool thing is, 
is that if you brought your own fruit, they were actually uh, using their blender and you can make smoothies. As long as you were supplying uh, the fruit to turn into smoothies, they had the ice. Very cool. Now, of course, I don't know if they go to every tournament, but the idea was really awesome. I would say it was definitely a hit of the Gator Cup. Everybody was going over and checking it out because it's a great concept and it's a great way to have fun and stay cool at a tournament, especially when we're starting to get into the 100 degree range. All right, so it just got really dark there. Uh, that's because we had a big rainstorm and today's actually another day that I'm filming the rest of this. So let's continue on with canopies. Uh, we may be under a canopy of trees right here, but that's not a thing when you're on an archery field outdoors. But they provide human-made canopies. Yes, very long tents generally are available at these USAT events. They're available to archers, uh, coaches. Uh, of course, you have to stay out of the archers area. Uh, and there's usually ones available for preferred seating. Now, if you don't want to pay, you could always... Uh, you know, talk to a bunch of your archery friends, or just bring your own personal canopy, and there is a zone behind the shooting line, behind the archer's canopy, to set up your own canopy for free. Uh, it's a pretty good idea to utilize that. It's a great way to stay out of the sun, and by staying out of the sun, you stay cool, you stay refreshed, and you stay in the zone of shooting arrows, which is what we want to do. Now, Another aspect of staying cool that's not really, uh, you know, related to you or me is uh, DOS, uh, which is uh, the people that run uh, the shoot. They usually make announcements from the DOS stand. They run the clocks and things. They make sure everything is safe. People aren't uh, in front of the shooting line when archers are shooting, things like that. Well, they also make announcements reminding people to, you know, drink water, put on suntan lotion, things like that. Uh, so it's great to uh, you know take these reminders seriously and make sure that you're hydrating properly and things like that because it's definitely going to help you because you can forget. You know, you maybe you drink a little water on one end and then you know you get busy talking to somebody, next thing you know you're you're four ends in and you're like, oh why do I feel so you know dry? It's because oh you haven't been drinking for the last uh, you know, half an hour or more, and it's, you know, 100 degrees out or whatever. <laughs> You're turning into a raisin, and you don't want that to happen. So it's great that they have DOS make announcements at these large tournaments to remind people to, you know, hey, take care of yourself. It's important. Following that, we enter the cooling stage of this uh, video. Cooling towels are really handy. I personally like to use them. Um, it's a great way to like immediately drop your body temperature. You can also use it as a little bit of personal shade as you walk down to the target because you can put that around your neck or partially under your hat that you're wearing. And you have some shade, especially if the sun is you know beaming on you from behind or so. You know, it's a good way to not burn your neck as much or or anything like that. Of course, you should be putting sun tan lotion on and reapplying so you, that you don't burn, but we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, with that, cooling clothing. Yes, it's a thing. Um, I, I sometimes have cooling shirts uh, that I wear to tournaments. Uh, not so much, but they are handy and it's another way of staying cool. If you're somebody that overheats really quickly, maybe you should look into some cooling clothing. Uh, they make a variety of it. There's tons of different brands. Uh, for tons of different sports, so just kind of find one that, that works for you the best and works for you and your, your shooting because you want something that's going to, you know, move well with your body when you're shooting arrows. And uh, as we wrap this up, we got two more categories. The first is suntan lotion. Yes, I mentioned it before, but you want to put it on because by not applying suntan lotion and burning, you do essentially make yourself more hot and you make your shooting situation and your situation for the next morning very miserable and then that's not fun and then you're gonna get you're gonna get frustrated by the elements you're gonna let that affect your shooting and you're not gonna have as great of an experience at the tournament as you could because you didn't apply some suntan lotion it's a pretty easy process and I highly recommend it and finally everybody's favorite category or at least it seems like it in archery uh, we're, we're a bunch of foodies it seems like in the archery world Food. Yes, 
you're saying, Anthony, this has nothing to do with cooling off, but it does in, in the sense that it's giving you maybe a peace of mind. If you're having your favorite snack, sitting there with your hat on in the shade, just enjoying yourself, it's taking you out of that mental element of focusing on, oh, good God, I got to shoot arrows, and it's, you know, 110 or whatever out. This is terrible. It's like, all right, doo-doo-doo, you know, eating my snack, eating whatever, uh, enjoying myself, maybe talking to some people. It makes going out there in the heat uh, more bearable. Because you're here, you enjoy shooting arrows, hopefully, especially if you're going to a big national tournament. So uh, if you can remove or minimize the points of the shoot that are uncomfortable, that are not pleasant, and replace them with something a little more pleasant, like having a little snack, that's a good thing in my mind. So with that, uh, that wraps up uh, staying cool at a tournament. Of course, there's probably even more ideas out there, but this uh, video, in my mind, was just to get everybody started. This is like a, a nice starting spot. And then from there, look into all these different topics that I covered on staying cool. Find which ones work for you, and then apply them, and reapply them, especially if it's suntan lotion, to uh, you know, your shooting day, and see what works best for you. Uh, with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. You can follow me at AnthonyArchery720 on Instagram. And as always, happy shooting!